High on a mountain called Kitt Peak in the dry, clear air of Arizona, there is a new eye looking at the distant universe. It is a highly sophisticated 158-inch telescope named for the astronomer who was the driving force behind its creation, Dr. Nicholas Mayall. Advances in technology make this huge and complex eye the most efficient and accurate ever to probe the heavens. What is the universe? How did it all begin? How will it end? We have one great messenger from these distant places that can perhaps give us some of these answers. That messenger is the light that they emit. Some of this light, the evidence we receive when it lands on our telescope mirrors, has been on its way for billions of years. It's this light that we use to increase our store of knowledge and understanding of the universe. Qualified astronomers and graduate students from all over the world can come here to use this new eye. Its optical structure alone weighs 46 tons. It is carried on a thin film of oil, five one-thousandths of an inch thick. It is balanced so perfectly that a motor the size of less than one horsepower moves it with smooth accuracy. Large telescopes gather light from the universe with highly polished mirrors. Before the telescope's mirrors could be installed, each optical surface was polished to an accuracy of two millionths of an inch, a job that took more than three years. There is more than one way to look through this new eye. The prime focus position on top of the telescope allows the astronomer the brightest view of the night sky. Here, direct large field photographs are made. Down at the bottom of the telescope, more distant and dimmer light is gathered. Here, the astronomer uses specialized data gathering techniques, spectroscopy, photoelectric photometry. But astronomers spend little time looking through the eyepiece. What the telescope sees is interpreted by a series of complex and exotic instruments. Here, the atmospheres of distant stars can be analyzed by the light they emit. Everything in the universe is in motion. Spectrography measures speed and direction. Where are the stars going? How fast? The ghosts of unimaginably distant objects like quasars and pulsars can be made to tell their stories by manipulating the light that they emit. Light can be twisted and tortured into revealing much. This photometer measures the brightness of star images data which will eventually help determine the age of distant star clusters. How much we can learn of the universe depends largely on the sophistication of our tools. Each second, this micro densitometer makes up to 10,000 measurements of the contents of distant galaxies. Gas, dust, and its millions of suns. Bit by tiny, tiny bit, we learn more of the nature of things at the distant edges of the sky. Out there, galaxies erupt, stars are born and die, and in the violence, light is generated. That light traveled through the universe for millions of years. And yet, by refining, polarizing, breaking and amplifying that light, astronomers are discovering that throughout the universe, matter behaves the same. And so an understanding of the universe, its structure, its energy, may someday relate very directly to the quality of life on our little Earth.